Hello everyone, Helen here and welcome to my channel. Today I am revealing the box of the month for the Not Too Shabby Shop. Comes with these three stamp sets. It also comes with two pattern paper pads. One is called Sparkling Christmas Wishes and Christmas Critters. It also comes with two ephemera packs and not pictured is a free gift from Jamie, which is like pom-poms, which you can put on the critters hats. Also brought in some doilies, two die sets for my stash. I brought in enamel dots and two cardstocks from Stampin' Up. I did color my images ahead of time and that's uh, the color combos, which I will have on my blog post down below. I also created my very first card sketch. Now this is not planned at all. I was just happened to be designing my cards for this particular video and I came up with this design and I thought, you know, I'm gonna try and see if I can um, put that design on a sketch and I'm really happy with um, the cards and how they turned out. I did put the dimensions of um, the pattern papers that you'll cut on the sketch as well. So if you're interested in seeing that, you can head on over to my blog post as well. And um, the enamel dots that I'll be using for this video, those are um, not available for sale at Jamie's shop yet. They are available as a free gift um, when you purchase a certain amount from her shop. I believe the release date for the enamel dots are on the 15th for her quarterly release. All right. I also want to mention that I am going to use all the three stamp sets. And usually when I showcase the box of the month, I like to work with the stamps. And then after that, I will um, showcase each pattern paper by creating multiple cards. So check back in tomorrow on my channel because I will be working with one of the um, paper pads and ephemera. Um, but in the meantime, for this video, you'll see the three stamp sets come to life. And I hope that this will give you tons of inspiration on in how you can use this box of the month. I am super in love with this particular stamp set with the Santa and the snowman and the gingerbread. Um, I think Santa looks super cute and it's my favorite stamp set from the box of the month. You have to let me know in the comment section below which stamp set is your favorite. All right, on to the next card. Um, I did bring in two of my favorite dies for Mama Elephant. And as you can see, I die cut one of the um, scallop circles um, in the center of my red cardstock, just so I can save a little bit of paper and you can't tell. So um, I used that up and I also used a light pink. Now you don't have to layer those uh, two scallop circles together, but I like that look. It doesn't really give it much bulk, so you don't have to worry about it being too bulky when you send it out. Now, I know Pink and Main sells something similar to this, so if you're interested in um, getting one of these dies, um, the only companies that I know that sell it is Mama Elephant and Pink and Main, and it also comes in rectangles as well as squares. Uh, so yeah, um, I did color the Santa here non-traditional. I opted for kind of like a lime green Santa suit. I really like how he's posing on here. And then I die cut one of the sentiments, have a wonderful holiday on, uh, and ink that with red ink pad. Now, if you're looking for, uh, traditional red ink or paper, um, Stampin' Up! has a really good, um, uh, red color um it's very traditional and it's very true to the red i think now i'm just gonna use some of these uh lime green uh enamel dots these are sparkly enamel dots and jamie has three different enamel dot uh, collections which are sparkly except i believe one of them is sold out i also brought in uh doodle bug doilies Jamie carries these in her shop in many different colors. Um, this one is called Limeade, and I thought it would go perfectly with this green pattern paper background that I chose. And I'm just gluing the center of my doily um, because it, it's more solid and the other one ha has too many holes for me to uh, glue it. So just a little bit of glue 
in the center of the doily. And then I cut this, I think this is more like a two inch or a two and a half inch circle. And I'm just going to ink that with a real red ink pad from Stampin' Up! And it says Holly Jolly Christmas. And I'm gonna center that. And as you can see here, I didn't mat the banner. So you have um, different options. You can choose to mat it or you can just leave it as is. And then I just decorated that with those holly, with the berries and enamel dots. And then for our last card, this stamp set here, this one is called Deck the Halls. And Teresa described this stamp set perfectly, which is primitive. Like it has a country feel to it. And so um, I just colored these images um, like a country color, like with the country blue and the kind of like a mauvey pink. And I chose uh, a pattern paper that has um, snowy mountains in the background. And then I chose a plaid banner to go along with it. And then I'm slightly um, making this sign crooked and it says Merry Christmas. And I did go over that with my white gel pen because it wasn't um, showing through. And then I added one of those primitive hearts and popped it up with a, um, a foam tape or foam square. And then I'm decorating it with um, the candy cane and the holly berries, as well as this uh, leaf foliage right behind the coffee cup and the hot cocoa. And I did pop those up. And I really like the pairing of these two. And the I think that the added addition of the doily really gives it a country feel. And I didn't realize that I actually um, had two on there and it was coming apart. So I just decided to just glue two of them on there because the other one would have been ruined if I um, peeled it off. And then I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that on my card base and then finish it off with white enamel dots. As we're nearing the end of the video, I just want to mention that you have a chance to win a $25 gift certificate at Jamie's shop. All you have to do is leave a comment on all the participants designing this box of the month by clicking the hashtag above or scrolling down below. Leave a comment and then fill out the Rafflecopter link down below. And if you like the projects, subscribe to the design team members as well as liking their videos. Make sure to let me know which card was your favorite. Here are the other cards I designed for the sneak peek that I posted on the Not Too Shabby channel. All of these cards are using the card sketch that I designed. If you choose to uh, create with the uh, card sketch that I made, please tag me so I can see all of your wonderful creations. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.